Hello and welcome back to Patient Knowledge. I'm Dr. Kirmani and today's topic might be of interest to young parents or new parents. Yes, I'm going to be talking about a crying baby. So let's get straight into it and find out more about it. In this video, I'm going to be talking through what's normal crying, what's excessive crying, some of the common causes why babies cry, and at the end, we'll be telling you what can be done to calm down your baby. So stay till the end. All noise at one end and no sense of responsibility at the other is an old saying about infants. However, crying is an important expression to develop a proper interaction between the baby and the parent or carer. Now what's normal crying? During the first few weeks, the average baby sleeps a lot and when awake, cries loudly and often, usually without tears. The average baby cries or fusses three hours a day, reaching a peak at six weeks of age. From six weeks onwards, the baby has some wakeful periods without crying and by six months, spends three to four hours a day playing and gurgling without crying. Now what's excessive crying? Crying is excessive when it lasts for long periods when the baby should be sleeping or playing. It appears to be more common with the first baby and is aggravated by parents getting angry with the baby. Now here are some reasons why babies cry and how to decipher your baby's cry. Remember, this is the only means of communication. So baby is trying to say something to their parent or carer when they're actually crying. They might be saying, I'm hungry. So the main feeding problem that causes crying is underfeeding. If so, the baby will be slow in gaining weight and may pass small, firm, dark green motions. It's important to check this with your doctor or infant welfare nurse. Or they could be saying, I'm dirty, change my nappy. Well, wet or dirty nappies may cause discomfort or to babies. And so this needs to be checked. Do not fall for the old trap of thinking that passing urine is painful for the baby. It's worth remembering that crying can cause the baby to pass urine. Teething can be another cause of crying. Babies usually cut their first teeth between the ages of 6 months and 2 years. The gum is often swollen and sore at the spots where the tooth erupts. This discomfort can make the baby cry, but it does not usually last for longer than a week. The baby can be saying, I have gas or an infant colic. This is one of the commonest causes of unexplained gusty crying in an infant. It's a distressing but harmless problem that some babies develop from as early as 1 to 2 weeks of age and lasts until 12 to 16 weeks. It typically develops in the late afternoon and early evening and lasts for about 3 hours in a day and continues for at least 3 weeks. Now how you can make out that it's an infant colic is by the position of the baby. They usually curl up their back and pull their legs towards their tummy. Now they could be saying, I need love. It's because of loneliness or seeking attention. Some babies may cry because they feel lonely and are looking for comfort and attention. Now if the baby stops crying when you pick them up, the cause may well be this lonely feeling. They could be saying, I'm sleepy mom. Newborns sleep about 14 to 17 hours a day, out of which 8 to 9 hours during the day and 8 hours at night. And many babies cry when they are uncomfortable, which could be due to cold weather or overheating in the room. Now, infection could also be the reason of crying. Infections are not all that common in infants, but will be diagnosed by a doctor. Examples of such infections are a respiratory tract virus, urinary tract infection, gastroenteritis, and middle ear infection. A middle ear infection, which can cause much distress, may be indicated by a fever, running nose, and the baby pulling at his or her ear. 
Now you must be wondering that these are some of the most common causes, but what should be done to calm down my baby when they are crying? Now simply check out and attend to these common causes. It's important to understand that these crying episodes are not the mother's or carer's fault and that the mother needs help to allow her to rest and get over the birth. It's common for some mothers to feel a failure, but nothing could be further from the truth. These crying periods do not usually last very long. A proven successful strategy by the pediatrician Dr. Harvey Karp is the rule of five S's. Swaddling, firm clothing, not too loose. Lie, lie baby on side or stomach. Shush, that's shushing as loud as they cry. Swing them, sway them from side to side. And sucking teeth or dummy may help to calm down a crying baby. Now seek advice from a doctor if you're worried and cannot work out the cause or remedy you must report any unusual symptoms. So that's all for today. I hope this video was helpful in understanding some of the most common causes why babies cry and what to do to calm them down. Thank you for listening. If you wish to hear more of such health videos, support my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing it. Bye for now.